viruses and hypochlorous acid. Let's talk. Just like bacteria, viruses are tiny microbes that can get you sick, and they come in various different shapes. However, unlike bacteria, viruses aren't considered living organisms. Instead, you can think of them as little packets of genetic information, either DNA or RNA. And the sole purpose of a virus, regardless of the type, is to invade a host cell, hijack its inner workings, and to make viral protein copies of itself. For the DNA type, they will invade a host cell's nucleus, which is essentially the cell's control tower, tricking the cell's machinery to produce something called viral messenger RNA. This new corrupted information then travels to the ribosomes, causing it to make viral protein copies instead of conducting normal functions. RNA viruses, on the other hand, can skip the nucleus process because they're already comprised of RNA. RNA viruses may seem more efficient by skipping the nucleus process, and to some degree they are, but they lack the proofreading and error correction capabilities that DNA viruses have, which allow them to correct copy errors. This makes RNA viruses less stable and more subject to variants. Here's an example we can all relate to. By the way, diseases caused by viruses are based on the fact that the host cell can no longer perform its normal function. The specific disease is based upon what type of cell is being invaded. In the world of this infection, though, we can simplify our focus a bit. All we care about is whether a virus is non-enveloped or enveloped. Enveloped viruses have a lipid layer surrounding their protein capsid, while non-enveloped viruses lack this extra jacket. Think of the capsid as a protective transport container carrying a payload. Non-enveloped viruses have a more robust protein capsid that provides structure and stability, making non-enveloped viruses harder to kill with antimicrobials. It seems a little counterintuitive, I know, but the lipid jacket actually makes the virus more vulnerable to disinfectants. I'd love to stand here and tell you that only hypochlorous acid is effective against viruses, but that would be a bit dumb, as most disinfectants are effective against both types. However, some studies show that certain quaternary ammonium compounds struggle against non-enveloped viruses because these viruses lack a negatively charged lipid envelope to attract the positively charged quat solution. Hypochlorous acid, on the other hand, works in various ways by damaging viral envelopes, denaturing viral proteins, disrupting the protein capsids, and causing oxidative damage to viral genomes. Keep in mind that the viral efficacy of hypochlorous acid is backed by third-party GLP data and also vetted by the same organizations that vet its bacterial claims. In fact, a few National Institute of Health studies have demonstrated exceptional results of hypochlorous acid on non-enveloped viruses with concentrations as low as 20 parts per million. Though we're admittedly partial to hypochlorous, its efficacy isn't just our opinion. As always, we're more than happy to discuss the science, our solutions, or our systems. If you're interested, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.